Hi muses. I'm finally able to get on. I don't know how you guys have been handling this whole isolation Rona time. Um, it's been a challenge, it's been a change and as someone who embraces chaos and change and all the mayhem all of that and talking about finding the beauty in it it has definitely been still a challenge because i don't like change either so it's probably it makes sense that it's part of my practice and part of my work um i have been working on trying to work out the tech for my upcoming virtual watercolor workshop soulful spirals if you haven't heard about it definitely check it out you'll find all the information on my page or if you join my mindful muses free group you'll get all the information there i've just dropped a pdf for the, all the art supplies that you're going to need to get started uh, with all the links and options that you can choose from my philosophy is that when you're starting especially if you're starting and you don't have any supplies at home is to just get the simplest stuff use what you have um, not to go overboard like look at it in terms of any habit that you're just starting or starting a fitness regime or health habit you start simple and get the habit going first before you start throwing money around getting the best shoes or um, you have to have the best water bottle before you can drink more water and stay hydrated right like it's simpler simplest things but at the same time I understand if you've never done watercolor painting before and you've been intrigued and now you find yourself with so much time and space to actually explore those creative curiosities this is the time i'm just working on trying to work out the tech because i want to be able to look at you so you can look at my face but at the same time i want you to better look up at the table so that you can see what i'm doing just like we would in a virtual workshop and so it's just been doing my head in um so i wanted to come on and i was looking through all my watercolors and trying to find some uh, watercolors so that i'll be painting live inside the free group and then i saw the ones that I, when i first started and it was just like it's it's sweet i look at all the ones and i i feel so much love for the brenda of then which is about two years ago he just started and just playing and and i understand yes i'm coming from it from a place of i know color i know how to paint i know how to use acrylics all that kind of stuff but it's still watercolors is this whole new medium and anytime you start something new there's this whole sea of suck and ugliness that you kind of have to like get over and get used to and just work your way through it but sometimes it feels like, oh, that's so easy for you to say, Brenda. Uh, so I would like to show you and have a look and let me set it up and I've got it um, so you can see. This is my thing. Excuse my messy table. Here we go. All right. Let me just share this video. Facebook is doing all kinds of weird stuff right now. So, all right, let me just share this to the group so that the Mindful Muses, it's a free group. If you're not already in there, definitely join. Um, it's free. It's where you can get all my resources and training and stuff. My first paintings. very first ones and if you don't know me and you're just watching this thank you for being here welcome to my world I am let's just look at my face when you're when I'm talking I'm Brenda Mangalore I'm an artist this is what I do there's empty wall space right now because um the the paintings I've just done for my latest collection that's coming up has gone to photographers they're going to be delivered back tomorrow and then I can really release it to my email list and it's going to be shouted out for everyone to purchase and I'll drop that later but right now we're talking about watercolors and my thing is whenever you're watching this know that you are being called yes you are loved you are seen you are beautiful as you are you can use what you have if you feel this connection and resonance and curiosity about painting or creativity or just 
playing with paint or color or just being part of it it means that a part of you is really longing for that connection back to yourself it's is this longing for um connection to the divine to the muse all that kind of stuff and so for me it's always been more about than just making a pretty painting or being someone who's like arty like whatever that means right for me creativity has always been a vehicle for you to find confidence find connection to the divine to your spirituality to your inner self your higher self to your soul and that in turn then becomes an anchor for you to build confidence in full self-expression be, being able to ripple all that confidence and connection to who you are in your relationships in the way you show up for work in the way you're being and i think this is a time when everyone's at home and they're really having the time and space even if it feels like you don't have time and space because everyone's at home now and it's just like doing their head in to really notice where the gaps are, to really now not having any of the distractions of like going out all the time and seeing your friends all the time and doing all the things that you have to do with kids when you went out all the time. And now you're sitting at home and noticing that the connection that you desire for yourself and for spirit and for soul and for your dreams that you had that is still sitting in your heart is not there. And now it's really coming up to bug you, right? And so I think taking that time to really connect within and just play with your creativity, like joining me inside Soulful Spirals, which is my virtual watercolor workshop. It's gonna be five days, just an hour a day, every day. It's gonna be a pop-up Facebook group where I can post videos and more trainings and things like that. And then um, we will meet virtually in a private room, which I'm trying to work out right now. It's all new, it's a brave new world. Let's be brave together. Uh, I've always wanted to do in-person workshops and just kind of pushed it to the back of my mind. And now this whole situation obviously has impacted my plans and my income plans for the year ahead because events are scheduled uh, are cancelled and you know markets and and uh, art fairs and things and exhibitions have been cancelled or postponed and so it was a sign for me to like I've always wondered if I could do a virtual workshop now is the time so if you've ever wondered I've always wondered how I would go with watercolors. It feels really beautiful. There's something about it that really resonates with me. Then definitely join me for Soulful Spirals. I should drop the link before I get completely distracted by talking about stuff that you can buy from me. Absolutely. Um, because I mean, that's why you're here. Hopefully, you know, I'm not just here for fun and games. Although yes, totally fun and games <laughs> because that's what we do. Uh, I will drop all the stuff and then Where's the link? Here we go. The comment below, you can join us now. It is now open. All right. How do I pin this? There you go. It's done. All right, so as I was saying, join mindful muses you'll find it in the header of my page it's a free group this is where i share free trainings resources and all that kind of stuff it's a collective of other mindful muses so if you don't have that community of creatives that you like to connect with and you resonate with me then come join my people with my other muses inside mindful muses find it Otherwise, DM me to get the link and I will send you the thing and make sure you answer all the questions. Otherwise, I can't approve you as quickly as possible to get you into the group. Um, yeah. What else did I have to say? That's it. I'm turning the camera so you can see the table because it's just easier. Oh, is that right? Here we go. Okay. So, is that the correct way? Yeah, it is the correct way. These are one of my first ones, which are not bad. But they were half done and this is when I'm still playing with paper and so I think there's something to be said about and I recommend this for everyone who's coming into social spirals right to use whatever you have and that's what I did I used whatever I have I found kind of pieces of paper and I bought a few different ones um, to try out and so let's maybe start from that very beginning oh that noise if you hear it is the dishwasher this is what I bought first thing. 
And obviously I'm a professional artist, so it kind of makes sense that I would invest a little bit more and I needed all the colors. But this is Winsor Newton Cotman color. So they're not even the highest grade artist watercolors. What that just means though, is that it's still beautiful, beautiful quality, archival. It's still got all the pure pigments and things, but it's not as pigmented as like the super high quality professional level ones. And the reason I did that was because I wasn't sure I was gonna continue on with the um, watercolors or whether it was just an exploration. At the same time, knowing that, you know, it, it, it costs a lot less than the professional ones, like the super professional ones. These are still professionals that I'm pointing to. These are still professionals, but the pigment is not as strong as if you got them in the tubes that is available for the professional quality one. These are called half pans one. So they come in like little, little kind of cutie little thingies. Pans, they're called pans. Um, I think they're called half pans because it's half. I don't know. I don't know all the terminology. I'm totally self-taught. This is my thing. And I just work out. I prefer to learn as I go and create art as I go. And then that way I can look back like I do now, which I'm going to show you and kind of half cringe, but at the same time have such love for the me of the past that had to put down all the foundations and do all the work that needed to be done in order to create the work that I can create today. Right? So these are all the colors but when you're starting especially if you're starting from scratch and you don't know colors and you're not a professional um, like me as in like I've been playing with color for years now I would start with eight colors which is on my list so oh, I don't think I like this this is annoying because I can't see you you can't see me it's really weird is um, I gave I actually made a whole PDF of the supplies checklist, which you can get inside Mindful Muses. This is why, okay, I'll give you the link. Maybe that will be easier. I'll give you the link to join Mindful Muses to make sure you, if you're not already in there to join in because you can access the PDF in there. But basically what I'm suggesting when you're first starting is to just buy a small amount of colors, which is like the primary colors. The thing is there's no pure primary colors because our eyes are so amazing and beautiful because you're a divine creature of God. Um, and we could never recreate what our eyes can. And so with paint, you've learned maybe at school and you don't have to know any of this stuff. I'm going to cover very, very lightly because we've only got really five hours together, five days together inside uh, Soulful Spirals. We might extend that out to the week actually, because I know me, I'm going to be like talking, talking, talking a lot. Um, and you can ask all your questions when you're in there and it's $27. I want it to be a no brainer. And I know that there'll be many of you, if you're like me, just like stuck at home and need to have something that is just for you when you have a whole bunch of little children annoying you and just like feeling this oppression and slight kind of overwhelm of the fear and the chaos and the uncertainty right now. And it's really more about a bit meditative practice and a, uh, self-care practice and so this is not about like getting a university level degree on color and paint right and so anyway so there's like primary colors that I would recommend and it's the primary colors are really a yellow it's a kind of cyany blue which is like a bright sky blue and there's a pinky kind of red which is the true primary red right not red red it's more kind of pinky magenta -y. that's the true primary colors and so in paints what you'll need is like a warm blue a cool blue a warm yellow a cool yellow a warm kind of red and a cool kind of red like a pinky kind of pinky magenta -y red right which i can't show you it's all in the list in the pdf and it's just so much easier if you can just join there uh here we go I will put it in the comments below because I know there'll be some of you who's going to be like, what? What's happening? Where do I get this thing? Okay, I'll pin that comment too. So there's two pinned comments. Oh no, you can only pin one. Anyway, it's all in the comments. Just look it out. Uh, and it will have all the links where you can buy it from. I've linked it to my favorite local shop that has the best value. And um, it's got a, it ended up being a 10 page kind of PDF, but at the very back is the checklist. But the 10 pages is really just to go through all the things that you're going to need to set aside if you were to join us inside Soulful Spirals. If you are not and you just want to join me inside Mindful Muses this week, where I'm just going to like paint live on my table if I can somehow get the cameras kind of going inside the group and you can kind of just see. You know, it won't be like the Soulful Spires workshop where I'm actually going to be teaching. It would just be like you join in and we'll be chatting. We just kind of have like a virtual, you know, like those knitting circles I imagine that grandmothers have. Um, 
although my mum's a grandmother and she doesn't do knitting circles, but you know, like, I don't know, where people like sit around and they just like crafting and stuff. I want to kind of have that inside in this coming week inside Mindful Muses. So you can definitely join us in there and that Soulful Spires PDF. It's a free PDF. You can just download and have a look um, or you can get it from my website if you're an insider list member. Um, and it, you can just get all that stuff for yourself. If you just want to try it yourself like I did and just self teach and just look up some YouTube videos, totally can. If you want to come and paint with me and be around this kind of person um and you resonate with me and i can show you how i do my watercolors so this is a perfect example right this is the kind of watercolors that i make now yes and i think it's all right like it says what i want it to say it has all the layers that i want it to have um it's using my spirals which is actually my visual anchor you know with this is coming from my professional practice and my my signature body of work right but when i started i was just playing with paper you know, I stuff like this and then I never finished it because I couldn't, I couldn't, when you've worked in acrylic, it's very different to working in watercolor. It's like learning a whole different language where like things don't make sense. Like the rules that you have for one language doesn't work in the other language. And the only way you can pick it up is to just keep going and make mistakes and do things that's frustrating and ugly. Although now when I look at it, I'm like, oh, I just didn't finish it. I can keep going because now I know the language. I know how to like work with it, right? And then there was like this stuff, you know, oh, here we go. There were other papers that I tried, which I did not like. And when I say did not like, it just didn't flow the way I wanted it to flow. And this is part of noticing. And I hope I will share this and my intention inside Soulful Spirals is that it's more than like how to make paintings like Brenda. I'm not interested in that. I want it for you to be able to practice noticing your preferences. This is about finding your voice. Even if you don't want to be a professional artist or create a body of work or whatever it is. This ability to notice what you prefer is the first steps to recognizing who you are, what you like, what you value, the way you want to speak, the things that you want to create. And that builds up confidence in your value and your worthiness, like your worthiness of being allowed to paint, to create, to be artistic. You know, I use this a lot because I feel like these are just labels, right? If it just is what it is, then there's no need to be questioning whether or not, am I creative? Am I allowed to be an artist? Am I allowed to paint? Um, so like playing like this, playing, just throwing paint around and learning how the paint flowed. Like I wouldn't say this is a pretty painting, but one of the first things is there's a list of like, brushes and paper and everything in that PDF, so join a group, get the PDF, uh, is you'll need one that's going to be like your crappy paper, which I have here. See, it's just random stuff. It didn't work and it didn't work. And so it ended up being my like scrap paper where you, you need it to kind of test out colors before you paint on like the good one. And so it's part of the process. Where is the other one I wanted to show you? Yeah, all the ones that didn't quite work out, like this one, it's okay, just, you know, it feels a bit flat, I don't know how to, because this is the right way around, it's not mirror, so I just don't know how to work with that. It's got a few things in there that I really liked that I never kind of continued on, so it's interesting to look back and go, oh, I wonder if I was trying to say there with that, I really kind of like that, um, might try to bring that in for other stuff. And that's the beauty of keeping your older uglier work right i think when it feels ugly already there's no preciousness there's no pressure you're just like oh it's not working out anywhere let's just like throw this around and then you discover something by accident this is when you discover something new discover like a new conversation or a spark of an idea that you wouldn't have because you wouldn't have gone down that road because you would have been too precious about making everything perfect and pretty and it has to be like for some reason i don't know brenda's gonna grade it and judge me which i'm not because it's your art I don't want you to become a poor echo of me because that's the best that you can do if you're only trying to copy my work. I want to give you tools and ideas and perspectives that's going to change the way not only of how you can see yourself and show up for your own practice, but also to just play with a creative thing that I can show you. But it can become a way for you to come back to yourself, self-care, explore your creativity and then discover your own patterns of 
resistance and fears like are you a perfectionist and that's totally going to show up when you start painting or are you the kind of person who's really um, victim blaming a lot are you the kind of person who's going to be a very much waiting for like thinking that it's going to fail from the beginning and so you don't really give yourself the chance to try you know you'll know like it sounds really obvious and harsh the way I'm saying it now which is not my intention you know with all the love is still the things that you say to yourself about why you can't do something or why the what you're making is shit is probably the same excuses the same fears the same patterns of sabotage that you apply to yourself without even thinking about it in other areas of your life like in your health or in your relationships or in whatever areas of your life that you're still trying to work on expanding and improving right so what's another one I can show? I think you like this one, kind of half finished. And if you look at my earlier spirals, which you can see on my on my um, Instagram, which is where I recorded it, it's at, at a spiral a day, if you look that up, if you're on Instagram. I wanted to have a separate account to my Brandon Mangalore account so that I could just keep all the spirals. And so these are ones I was really quite proud of and I do quite like them, but they're very different to what I do now. And this is like two years ago, maybe. I do like it. I do like its simplicity and its boldness and I do want to bring some of that back. Um, and I can see that coming up in my newer work, which is going to be on, not on paper anymore, but on um, a, a kind of special clay board by Ampersand called Aquaboard. It's like a clay panel that's got like a special treatment on it. I don't know the magic and the science and the manufacturing of it, but it, it mimics watercolor paper, but it's mounted on a board already and it flows differently to paper. And so I've noticed that when I create work on this, it has to be a lot more minimal than, you know, like stuff like this, right? This is the newer stuff now and it's similar, but different. I don't know. I feel like it's different. Again, newer body of work. I'm going in a new direction. Um, we're not going to be talking about panels and stuff in Soulful Spirals. I mean, purely on paper because I'm still learning this stuff. This is my next, my next kind of stage, next chapter. But I can see it coming back. See how it's like a little bit more minimal? This one. Did I already show that one? And then there was this one. A lot more portraits in the older one too, actually. And then what else can I show you? Just like, you know, like playing around, didn't quite work. And then I kind of gave it up. Like I, I do this at the very beginning and it's very typical and it's very interesting to look back at going, oh, it doesn't work. And then I just throw it away and I don't want to look at it again. And I try again and I start again. And I notice this patterning in my business and in the way I show up for like my parenthood. And anytime I'm learning something new where I'm just like, nah, it didn't work. Let's just scrap it. Let's see if we can start again, which is not something you can do for everything. Like you can't start again with motherhood or relationships if you're married or whatever. Um, but you just kind of like, no, you have to like take the next step that you can where you are. Let's bring all our lessons that we've learned with us and forgive ourselves and give ourselves that compassion and patience and kindness and grace to forgive, learn what you can and then take what would be helpful to keep moving forward and improving. Right. And then there was this one, which I really liked. And then I think I kind of got sick of the kind of portrait kind of feeling, but I did like the rainbow of colors and these dots really, these dots really came through. And then this one. So see how that's got that swirly thing that I never got back up to. But I do like that. I think it's supposed to be this way. Yeah, it's supposed to be this way. And I like this kind of ghosty spiral coming and happening here too so these kind of you know they look all right um what else can i show you anyway then there's stuff like this where it's don't know what that is didn't i didn't like it i didn't like the full coloring in and so i just kind of then I, it became my junk my throwaway paper not throw away the paper that you use to like wipe your brush and stuff on which you kind of need and so I look back and I kind of go yep I did like the spirals but did not like this and the things I like it adds to my unique style my unique perspective my voice in the work and that is part of the practice it means sometimes you don't know it straight away you don't know what your style is going to be um 
and so you try and you try things on on size and you kind of go no this doesn't feel right um but it also means you have to go through periods where it's just like it's ugly and it didn't work and this is was on expensive good paper right because the only way i could practice on the good paper that i really liked was to practice on the actual paper there's no substitute and so it just it can feel like a waste right these are like not cheap like this sheet probably costs about two dollars because it's ripped from a much bigger sheet and so my like inner business person's like oh my god um but the creative is like, no, it's just, you have to, you have to kind of go through that period of just trying stuff out and it didn't work, but you wouldn't have learned what you learned from doing that unless you did that. And so this, obviously I could make a whole like philosophical quote about how this applies to every other area of your life. There are no kind of rehearsals in life and we get hung up on the mistakes we've made and we shouldn't have done that and this is the wrong path but the thing is you wouldn't have known it was the best decision that you could have made at the time with what you had and you wouldn't have learnt what you needed to learn in order to learn that it was the wrong decision unless you walked down that path and therefore it was the correct path for you to walk so that you can make that learning and insight and understanding and then come back around and go a different way again and so uh, I'm gonna get on to if I can probably have a few more minutes before um the little one wakes up from her nap she's not feeling well so we're gonna see how we go this coming week with a little sick toddler but um i want to get into mindful muses and do a little bit of painting just so that i can talk through all the materials and the space that you need um so definitely join me in there if you like i'm gonna photograph these ones that i've done so these are the nicer ones that i feel like they're the prettier ones and by pretty i don't mean like visually pretty even though that is very important to me beauty is spirituality in a way uh for me and one of my values but also pretty in a way that it's richly depth no that's not the way there is depth in it it's it's rich in its depth that's the that's the phrase i wanted to say uh there's enough layers it's saying what it wants to say some of the the older ones that i did uh, i can see that i hadn't built the confidence or the boldness to keep going um it was a little flatter in terms of it was a bit more shallow in what it was trying to say or express it's still beautiful in its own way it, there's a sweetness to it because of its naivety but these ones i feel like they're a little bit more solid a bit more mature and um, maybe because it's just it could be just me it's my reflection of it I really like this one you can see the gold sparkling on it I will talk about materials inside my mindful muses group so definitely join me in there um, you can always catch the replay of course because it's all in there as well um, yeah that is all let me know in the comments below if you're watching the replay of this if that was fun if that was useful if that was um cool to see and i don't know at least mildly entertaining for this time and if it's inspiring and dm me if you have any questions about soulful spirals or mindful muses or anything about creativity that you're really feeling the call for and just not feeling like you're brave enough to actually try talk to me that's what i do with my clients to really give you the encouragement and the ass kicking if necessary and to remind you that no you are allowed you are a muse you are loved so much by a god that's created you and that nudge that curiosity that spark that is a calling and that's because you are a muse a muse is not someone who just does everything perfectly a muse isn't someone who just inspires somebody else they're not like the greek myth i'm not th thinking about the greek mythological creatures that inspires other artists to create i'm calling us muses we're the ones who not only feel inspired by the beauty and depth and richness of life and inspiration and all that kind of stuff but we also inspire others by allowing that creativity come through and to express it in our work whatever that is for you whether it is painting or something traditional like that music dancing writing or whether it's in your work or in the, your motherhood or in the way you cook or in the way you relate to people in the way you lead that's what a muse is and so remember that Join me inside Mindful Muses, ask me about Soulful Spirals, and I will see you inside Mindful Muses now, hopefully. I'm going to have a quick one, and we're going to just do a bit of quick painting so I feel like I'm not going crazy and I haven't touched my paints today. I will see you guys soon. Bye.